What up, it's K, no D, and welcome back to the channel. So, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you aren't, welcome back. <laughs> so, as you're about the title today, I'm basically going to do like a, a wedding planning kind of video. Okay, so I'm basically going to just show you guys what my little wedding planner looks like. So, um... It's kind of like a DIY wedding planning because, I mean, there's just some little inserts in here. So, and then I'm also going to show you guys some other tools that I use to wedding plan and things like that. So, jumping right into the video, this is the front of my wedding planner. It says, Future Mrs. Davis, um, McKaylin, and Dylan. And it says wedding planner at the bottom. It's really cute, really compact. And then the back says Forever and Davis, which is our wedding hashtag. Which is our wedding hashtag. So when you first open it, the first thing you see are some little tab inserts. So the first tab says budget, checklist, to do list. Vendors, bridal shower, bachelorette party, honeymoon, notes, and vows. So, the overview kind of has like, well, let me just show you guys. So, this is what the overview has. It has like the date, your colors, the ceremony location, reception location, bridesmaids, grooms. And first things to do after you get engaged. Important dates down below. And then the next tab says budget. So when you go to the budget one, we basically just have. Let's see if I can go closer. I want to zoom. I think I'm pushing it. But it basically breaks down like everything that you have to pay for. For the wedding from the dresses the shoes hair makeup postage cards labels invitations programs ceremony efficient music equipment literally everything that you need to pay for and on the next page is just continued a detailed budget and then it has the payment checklist. Ring though. <laughs> it has a payment checklist right here. And then it has a wedding checklist, which tells you what needs to be done starting like 12 months before the wedding and all that. And then the next tab is to do list and it has schedules, priorities. To-do list, schedules, priorities, things you need to do, people you need to pay, and like extra notes, just some extra stuff. And then that's pretty much like what that section is. And then it breaks it down into months, and it also breaks it down into weeks. And then it also has a, an appointment section, so it has like the date, location, time, and more notes. I guess, so, you know, like... When you go like cake testing, if you need to go like meet um, anything, and then it has the guest list, which I'm not about to write all these people down. More than likely, I'm going to end up typing them. And it has the name, the relationship, and they're invited to the ceremony, the reception. Nine times out of ten, um, the reception will be open to everyone. But the ceremony will be invitation only. Cause I mean, I just feel like um, I'm not gonna invite like buku people to the wedding. I mean, like it's gonna be a good bit. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not about to say invite literally like everyone I know to this wedding. Cause I just feel like it's a special day and people that 
who's been there with me, love me, love die, blase, blase. Those are the people who should be there, not a random woman from across the street who's been my Facebook friend for five years. And then the next one is important contacts. And it has things you need to discuss with them and you list their phone number down below. And then the next tab is basically the vendors list. The vendor basically has the details of order, any like sketches, and like the cause, the deposit, how much I left to pay, and their contact details right there. And then on this side we have some save the dates. And it has the colors, the themes, the font. Oh, the colors, the themes, fonts. How this page looks. Um, the title, information you need to include. The date, time, venue, dress code, RSV by, and who the RSVP to. Um, I've already made save the date cards. So, yeah. And then we have the invitation planner, which for here you would, um, you know, put the, about your venue, where you get married, time, all that good stuff. And then it has wishing well ideas, so like if you don't really want gifts, but you don't want to be like in a mean way, we just want money. Kind of what that is. And then we have some wedding dress stuff. Where you list your vendors, your altercations, how much it is. And basically for this, it just breaks down literally about everything that you need to like pay. Your budgets, they have venue planners, and they also have a seating planner. Now they have it like this. And then they have like different options for you to see how you can seat people. Let me see. Yeah, they have like different options and then they have like circle tables as well so if you want to um like right in there who you want people to sit with but honestly i'm not about to do all that that's too much work so what i'm probably gonna end up doing for like the seating thing i mean for the most part, I feel like I'll just do like by family. Like I have like, so say like everybody in this household who's kin to this household, like they can sit together basically, I guess. Like just do it by family. Then you have like some inspiration boards ideas, um, photography ideas, florist ideas, all that good stuff. And then we have our bridal shower tab. Yeah, bridal shower tab. And it basically just lists the date, um, the theme, the location, time, what kind of food you want to have, drinks, decorations, invitations, games, and prizes. And this is how this page looks. I don't know if this is boring to y'all or not. Some people don't really care about weddings. But. And then I have the bachelorette party summary. Who you want to invite. Um, times. Dates. Then it has the honeymoon tab. Which here you list like your honeymoon options. Like what you're thinking of going. The pros and cons of it. Um, like flight options as well so you could like list the flight times and then the next page is like the honeymoon budget so you will just like everything you need to pay for when you go on your honeymoon and how much you want to pay versus how much you actually pay and then the last part is just like a section for notes yeah a section for notes and then it also says vows the last two pages you can write your vows there so yeah, that's kind of it for my wedding planner. Um, I'm not going to lie, I really, really like it. I I don't know, I thought it would have been bigger, but it's actually a pretty decent size because I could just like stick this in my purse if I want to go somewhere. Another way that I am planning my wedding is in my notes section, I have a wedding tab. That's the wedding part. 
And basically what I have is the wedding date, um, how much the wedding is. Um, I have like decorator ideas, like who I want to do it. I have our wedding colors listed, honeymoon places, location for our wedding and where the reception is going to be held because I know where that's going to be. And then I also have listed how I'm going to propose to my bridesmaids. I have a list of my bridesmaids or my bridesmaid candidates at least. Um, I'm not going to pick my bridesmaids until I graduate. Just to be on the safe side, just make sure, you know, yeah with the yeah. And then I have Dylan's best man, his groomsman listed. I have um, a little playlist for the reception. Here is a preview of our Save the Day cards. They're really cute. I did that really fast because I don't want to see it. Y'all seen the colors, but I mean... It's just color cards. And I really like them because the cards are like one of those cards where like when you hold it and you like go like this. It's like that gold foil that's like metallic -y. And then I have like some engagement picture ideas. Um, engagement dresses. I have pictures of how I want my reception decorated. And some videographer list people who I want to do our pictures like our engagement pictures or whatever the case may be and then I also listed um some of their rates already like how much they have for them because believe it or not believe it or not believe it or not um some of the people actually have like my dates available for me to get like quotes some people have the dates available that's my wedding for me to get quotes and me and Di are going to take our engagement pictures either I said at the end of this year sometime next year or definitely yeah if not the end of this year definitely um my god it's not the end of this year definitely next year so we can get that out the way and yeah and I also have people listed who I want to do my makeup but Sam is already doing my makeup for everything she's gonna do my makeup for my engagement pictures my wedding my bridal shower and every other thing I have, from babe showers, maternity pictures, all that, like, Sam, she's my go-to. Also, and I always forget which magazine it is, but that's why I have both of them, because one of these magazines has wedding dress in here that I like, and one of them in here has the bridesmaid dresses that I want. So, yeah. And then, also, I wanted to show you guys something that Zola sent me. Zola is basically um, a wedding registry website. You can do your guest list on there. You can make, like, a big old website. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain it, but Zola is the place to be. And they sent me, like, a little gift when we registered or whatever. When I was registered for it. And basically, when you open it... It looks like this. Basically what they sent me is um some save the date ideas. Now, I already had made my own save the date cards, but it's nice to like see how they look in person. This is one of them and it shows you how like the colors print in the back. Um If you're getting married, you can definitely go on Zola and like order these yourself for free. Because I believe they do. Um, you can order like samples for free. And this is a RSVP card. And again, it shows how the colors from the back. Um, this is kind of like the gold foil that I was telling you guys about. But it's like right here. So like when you move it, it's kind of like reflective a little bit. And it came in this little package. So that's basically the end of the video.
I just wanted to come to you guys and show you like a little snippet of how my wedding planner looks, what I've got so far. Like I said, I basically got dang near everything. I'm not gonna say everything because I'm far from having everything, of course. But I already have um well we've been had the colors. We have the date, have the save the day cards, um, have bridesmaid candidates, I know what bridesmaid dresses I want. Makeup artist, videographer, videographers, photo, photo talk, uh, photographers. People I want to take my dang pictures. And then engagement pictures are coming soon. And um, if you guys watch my fashion overhaul, y'all already know that I have the dress for my bridal shower and the dress for my engagement pictures. So, is Liddy. <laughs> That's pretty much the end of this video, so thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Because you love me. So, yeah. But I also plan to do, um like, wedding planning vlogs. Um, I'll take you guys with me whenever I start, like, looking for dresses and all that good stuff. So, yeah, you guys. Thanks for watching. This is my